Hello, and welcome back to another Overthrow Disc Golf Disc Review. Today, we will be looking at the time lapse. If you're watching this video right as this video drops, by the end of this review, you will be able to get your time lapse in the link in the description, or you could visit our website. But if you're just here for the review, let's get right into it. The Simon Line Time Lapse, MVP's first 12 speed driver, with the flight numbers being 12 speed, 5 glide, negative 1 turn, and 3 fade. And according to tridiscs.com, the diameter in centimeters is 21.2. The height is 1.7 centimeters. The rim depth is 1.2 centimeters. The rim width is 2.3 centimeters. Now that we've covered some of those nerdy stats, let's take it to the field and see how this thing flies. MVP did it. They have a dependable driver. Now, if you threw the prototypes, uh, in order of stability, it would be prototype. And then I think this party time has a little bit more dome and a little bit more stability than the stock stamp. So if you want to touch more beef, grab one of these party times, one of the special editions. If you want a little less beef, just something dependable. Stock stamps, great for that.
big arm's gonna be able to get a little bit of flip out of this. I'd say if you have anywhere upwards of 425 foot of power, you're gonna get a little pop up from a little hyzer. Beyond that, maybe you get a little turn, but below that, it's gonna be pretty overstable. So I also have been bagging the Wave, which is super flat in comparison. Like when you grab this, if you don't like dome at all, do not grab the time lapse because this is MVP's only domey driver right now. Feels great. Kind of reminds me of the old like four time Paul Macbeth destroyers in terms of feel. It has that amount of dome to it. Not quite as overstable as those are, but definitely mimics the destroyer in feel. Actually really surprised with the uh, tackiness of this. Some of that other MVP plastic I have is just a touch slick. I don't know what they did with this, but it definitely has a really solid dependable grip to it. For me, this is kind of vying for the slot between my Enforcer and my Rive. Might replace both depending on how it beats in and if they put out a Fission version of this, that's gonna be my go-to bomber, I think. But as for now, it's just a really dependable, everything you want, can fight when, you're not worried about it turning over for me. Now, on to our use cases. For you noodle arms out here, I need to have a quick conversation with you. You may look at this disc and think, oh yeah, can't wait to get this thing. I'm gonna bomb it all day long. I can almost guarantee you, if you are in my range of arm speed, this will not be the farthest flying disc in your bag. What it is, is a fantastic utility disc. So we're gonna use that utility today. We're at hole three at Sandusky. It is only 250 feet, but it is a pushing either backhand and hyzer or a forehand pushing hyzer. So the biggest thing you don't wanna do is end up left over this path in OB. I've done it too many times to count. So what I need is something that is going to be able to push a little bit anhyzer so I can get the distance I need out of it for my forehand, but not go OB left. It is going to reliably come back inbounds, hopefully circle one. So let's give it a shot. Oh, I love it. Go. So that's, that's good. about 35 feet, 30 feet. It's a little left, but it's about pin high, which is what we wanted. We're a touch closer about 25 feet. Let's see how it putts. That's really the most important thing huh. when it comes to a distance driver. It's not, not super stable. Boom. Do not get this for your distance driver. You're going to be better off getting a servo, a crave, something that is a little bit of slower speed that you can maximize and throw 350, 345, somewhere in that range. But if you want a good utility disc, good is going to give you a reliable fade, forehand or backhand, this is a great disc for it. And also it's gorgeous. Look at this room. I mean, they know what they're doing over there at MVP and Axiom. Look at this. Let's kick it over to the person that can actually throw this really far. <laughs> All right, guys, fair warning. I am an extremely positive person. Having said that, I do not like hardly any of MVP's high-speed drivers. This finally does it for me. It's got enough dome, the feel is there. I'm actually gonna bag three time lapses. I'm gonna do the stock stamp, the party stamp, and the prototype. They all have different flights, which I'm actually really excited about. They all have great feel. As for me and my use case, it's gonna be a lot of use cases, but I'll just use one. Uh, this has just a slight flip up for me. And what I like to do here is actually take a higher out on Sandusky hole five. I go high on hyzer, and essentially, I just want it to crash late. I need to get past a bunch of those trees out there, but if I go too far, I push too far, I go, well, too far. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hopefully I just knock it out first try, one take this bad boy. Oh, that was it, if I got it out further uh, right. Oh. I'm just gonna take that. I meant to put it a little further right, but it did essentially what I needed it to do. Now let's go sink this putt. You guys know how good I am at that. <laughs> let's just... So, uh, as you can see, it's, it's really a great disc. If you're someone like me, you've got a similar arm speed, you need to go leave this video right now, straight to the website, straight to the website, and grab a time lapse. Also, if you're like me, you really like good designs and definitely get one of the special edition. That extra stability is gonna be great. Let's send it over to Josh, the man, the myth, the legend, the coach, the guy you wanna hear from.
So we're at hole 17 of Sandusky here. It is a uphill 351 feet off the tee sign, really plays something like probably 420. Uh, with hill included, but the issue is, is if I try to down tempo something like my wave, it gets a little too touchy, so I don't really want to have to worry about down tempoing. I want to go a nice comfortable pace, um, but also if I hit my wave and it pops up a little too much, there's a downhill on the backside here where I can threaten going long OB, so I'd rather just get after something that I know, okay, if it pops up, great, it's going to be parked. If it doesn't pop up at all, then I'm still just gonna be a little short left, but safe. Is it OB? So I think that the use case for me and probably most amateurs is a situation where it's inside of your max golf distance, but you also don't want to have to down tempo something or throw something flippy and hit the angle perfect. For me, this little 420-ish shot is perfect to have this disc because I don't have to worry about the result and about finessing the angle so much to get it there. All right, guys, so if you're watching the end of this video when it drops, now's the time. You need to go to overthrowdiscoff.com and get ready to stink and refresh that page. <laughs> and uh, Order yours. I'm sure that these are all going to go very quickly, not just ours, but everywhere. Um, and if we haven't earned your business, tell us in the comments what we have to do to earn your business. And we'll probably do it. We ship everything in a box. How could you not want that? All right, guys, go grab you some. Or if you know this isn't for you, don't grab you some. But thanks for watching anyways. Peace. Mm-hmm.